today we're back at the church where I found that 1942 silver quarter. I'm really excited about being back here today. Let's go see what we find. I got an 82 at four inches deep right here by the sidewalk. It is just such a beautiful day. So there's something in the plug and there's something in the hole. I don't know which one is my 82, but there is a coin. Let's see. It's a Lincoln. Let's see if there's gonna be another coin in here. not to make a mess. It's not going to be easy. My fingers might be all in the way. I don't know what I'm doing like videoing this, but is that what it is? Hmm, what is that? Okay, there's a clasp or something. And a pop top. Goodness. Okay, I have another signal that's jumping really high. That's what that silver quarter was doing here last time. I know it's kind of all over the place, but you know, there are a lot of targets in this yard. But something good is right there. Not as high as it was reading. Lord, that looks really old. Alright, that's a bottle cap. That says 1945. So I guess that is when this walkway was poured. Come on, silver. Probably what was jumping around. It probably did that all by itself.
There's a lot of broken glass. Let me get my gloves and come back. This hole is going to be the death of me, y'all. Look, there's some good numbers that pop up on here. And I have pulled out so many nails so far, by the way. Sounds really good. Four inches. Excuse those white legs, y'all. My goodness, another Lincoln. Is there nothing else in there? Come on. Guess not. Ooh, that looks good. I need a chest mount for this phone too. If I can't get uh, somebody to video me. I can't get a cameraman. Need a chest mount. Well, there's that target. Come on. Nope. Just a Lincoln. Well, I ain't been finding nothing but Lincolns today, so this is my first washer. Alright, look at that. Kind of reminds me of that silver quarter that I dug last time. Oh my goodness, I hope so. I don't think I'm that lucky, but we're about to see. Still sounding good. Might be over some. Let's see. So it's not as high of a tone anymore. Uh oh. So I don't think it's a quarter. way a Lincoln was ringing up that good. No way. Come on, there's got to be something else in here. I have some silver in the hole, y'all. Oh my God, I got a bucket lister. Oh my God. I think that's a, is that a barber dime? I'm shaking. That's a barber dime, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, I've never seen one of these in person. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. 
That makes me so happy. Oh my God. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It looks like my shovel scratched it. So I hate that. But oh my gosh. I just love it. I was telling Sam, I want to take pictures of it. Just put it in family photos, everything. <laughs> I'm so excited about this thing. Sam's got an 83, 84 right here. Probably another male. <laughs> yeah, because that's the second one I've ever found. dangling can y'all come on these silver quarters sam just said he found a ring oh my god it is sam it looks silver that looks like a silver ring well, that's good. That's, oh that's my god Yes! Does it have any markings on it? I can't tell. I'll we'll have to clean it up a little bit. It's broken. I broke it. I'm trying to figure out what it was. <laughs> Did you? I don't know yet. You're going to have to clean it up. But that looks like silver. Awesome! I swear y'all, this might be the best permission I have ever had. All right, let's go see if this is my silver cord. It is. Is that another Lincoln? Good Lord. Well, that Lincoln is what was sounding so good over here with me. So I think it's safe to say he is officially wearing me out. Got me a regular dime. Got my first Clyde quarter of the day. So I walk over by the foundation and this is just laying here. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a token of some sort. I'm gonna have to clean that up. I just found another token on the surface just underneath these magnolia leaves. No cash value. Beside where that other token was. This is just right under the surface. Let's see what this one says. Oh, it's identical to the last one. I just really don't believe this, but there is another one under there too. Let's see if this is the same. It looks like it's gonna be. Yep, exactly the same. So now I have three of these. I'm in here looking for something that rang up high and this little thing was in the hole. I still haven't found my target. Let's work on that now. not working out so good. I'll have to come back to y'all. Well, it turns out that was my target. It must have some metal pieces on the inside, but it's not heavy at all. All right, Sam got his first quarter of the day. It's a flat quarter, but it's money. I was getting a solid 65 here. And so I got curious and I dug it. I can't make out what it is, but it might just be nothing. Oh yeah, just got a wheat penny. It's under this big magnolia tree. Let's see if I can see a date on there. It's a 1944. I'm one year away from being rich. 
me and Sam were just killing it today. I found another wheat scent under this magnolia tree. I'm gonna have to get a date for you. Looks like it's a 1941. I'm all over that 43. I have something ringing up that looks pretty good. Still under this magnolia tree. And this thing is just so big. So I got mud all over these white legs of mine. Oh my gosh, I see silver. Oh. <laughs> Where's my little digger? Oh, here it is. It's a silver quarter. <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all, this is the best day I've ever had metal detecting. By far. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, Sam just found his first silver dime. It is a 1953. That is awesome. Way to go. I just found my third wheat penny in one day. More than one silver coin in a day and finding three wheat pennies in one day. Oh my God, this day just keeps getting better and better. 1956 maybe. I'm getting farther away from the 1943. All right, still under this magnolia tree. I have something that's sounding good over here. Y'all know I'm hoping for more silver. pinpointer is going crazy so it ain't gonna be much help might just be trash well that was my target that was sounding all good it was pretty deep good night i just found my fourth wheat penny of the day let's see if i can get a date on that i think it looks like a 1950 I'm about to have to call it a day, but got a good signal here. Oh goodness, is that what it is? I don't know what that is. Probably just a piece of aluminum. My last dig of the day. day ended how it started with a Lincoln. There's Sam's junk pile and here's his good stuff. He got a quarter, two dimes, a bunch of pennies. There's his silver dime, 1953. And we were able to look on the ring and it is marked. It is a 925. He had an awesome day today. This is my treasure for today. These are all of my pennies. Those are my nickels, my quarters, a dime. I have four wheat pennies. And then I have all of these tokens. These three are the same. And they say no cash value. They have a little race car on the front. And um, this little token, I don't know what that little guy is. Then on the back, it has a horseshoe and a star. Not sure what this is, but it has an E over here and a S over here. And then these are my best finds. It's a 1952 silver quarter and 
1912 Barber Dime. This was by far my best day metal detecting so far. I just figured out that this is a faceplate from a pocket watch and um, it was made in the 1930s and it's from Bristol, Connecticut, USA. It's the East Ingram Company. And I broke it while I was cleaning it. <laughs> well, that's all the digging we had time for today. Thank you for watching. See y'all later.